Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Yep, this is Pen Light Part 2. Well, not exactly a part 2, but let's just say different ending part 2. That makes no sense at all. But anyway, um, I forgot we were left off. Oh, right. Notsumi wants to be hypnotized because she likes it apparently that was like in the next episode so if you still didn't watch it i recommend you guys watch the previous episode but now we're gonna focus that if the main cat is actually going to hypnotize her and i'm very scared <laughs> but anyway let's start all right so we were right here Notsumi Akemi, our beautiful class rep is here in my living room wanting, wanting me to hypnotize her. If she thinks she's excited about this, she's got nothing on what I'm feeling right now. But man, all that stupid planning I did to surprise her and it turned out, Hi Notsumi, will you let me hypnotize you? Will work just fine. So you said your father's out until late, is that normal for you? Oh yeah, my parents divorced a while ago and dad's married to his job which is sort of why they divorced. He's away all this weekend too, so it almost feels like I'm living alone. That's me nods politely as he listens. I see, I'm sorry I didn't mean to pry. I gave her a shrug of the shoulders. No, it's fine, I don't even mind most of the time. There's an, another moment's awkward silence before Notsumi speaks up once more. Alright, well, let's get to it then. Okay, 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 Notsumi. You really want to be hypnotized, don't you? You really, really want it. I, I can see that on you. And that's kinda effed up. I'm just saying though. Er, yeah, okay. I take a deep breath as I think back to everything I've learned from all my mo months of studying hypnosis. Like, come on, I've imagined something like this so many times. I can do it. So, so I guess you should take a seat on the couch and get uncomfortable. Oh god, no, 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 why? Not to be nods in acknowledgement. Perfect sentence, Marco. Perfect, like, perfect word you said there. And sits herself down on the living room couch, putting her hands in her lap and taking an audible breath through her nose. I give her my best attempt and a reassuring smile and sit down on the coffee table opposite her. Is my. Is the music kinda loud in here right now? I believe so. Let me turn it off a bit so you guys can hear me. Can you guys hear me correct? I think you guys can hear me now. Alright. Sorry about that. I give her my best attempt at a reassuring smile and sit down at the coffee table opposite her. How are you feeling? Bit anoxious to tell the truth. I know this is what I came here for, but to be actually going to it feels weird and tense. Yeah, I'm a bit agnostic as well. I mean, this is my first time doing this. She does with a straight and smile. Of course, and this is my first time doing hypnosis one to one. It's a different feeling to when I was with Shatusi and the others. I smell back as has my mind races. I'm so ducking excited, but I gotta stay calm, concentrate and show her what I've learned. Okay, okay, just, just calm down, Kiyu. You can do this. Why am why am I determining him to do this? No, I mean, I hope you can't do this, because this is bad. But she wants it, so I don't know. I don't have any choice. So uh, I guess we should talk about what we want to happen here. Oh yes, right. We should keep it nice and simple to start. Of course. So I was thinking we try putting me into a trance and then keeping me there a few minutes before slowly taking me back out. It may be my excitement spilling out, but I can't help but chuckle at her suggestion. What's so funny? I don't know. 
That seems a little too simple. Well, someone who show of himself. Don't you think trancing me is challenging enough for the first time? Uh, maybe, I just thought we could make it a little more interesting than that. I have a little think about what I could propose. I guess some kind of simple but fun suggestion to prove I can hypnotize her effectively? Maybe. Oh my god, another option. Like, how many? Forget how to count. Change your name. Forget how to count. I <laughs> want to see that what happens. How about I try to make you forget a number, then I have you count to 10? Okay, sure. That's a classic, isn't it? You can try that. This, if you somehow manage to pull that off, make sure I don't leave today thinking that. I mean, I should go back to thinking normally anyway, but a good hypnotist should always tidy up after themselves. It's a safety thing. She's right. Oh, and one other thing. While well, I'm talking to you about safety. Once me then dips her hand into her pocket and pulls out her phone before unlocking and hand wait heading to me? I want you to record this. Wh what? <laughs> I'm serious. Set the phone to record video and point at me. I want to see what happens. Plus it's well, it's for my safety too. For your safety? Look, I know you shouldn't be able to make people People do things they were normally do on the hypnosis, but there are ways around that. And I'm sorry, but I don't fully trust you, Q. Ouch. Can you blame me? You've been classmates since our freshman year, but I barely know you at all. And well, you haven't exactly done your reputation any favors, to be honest. Ouch. Oh, suck it up, Q. You're getting what you wanted out of this, so don't complain. Now, are you recording? Are we ready to start? Okay, okay. What she said hurts, but the last thing I want is a pissed off not to me, so I'm not gonna argue. Not when I've come this far. Instead, I hesitantly see the recording app to start and point the phone camera uh, not to me. I see the man them deep my hand into my pocket. It should be okay to show her what I've been working on now. What's that? This is what I'm going to be using to try and put you under. As I explained, I hold the object in my hands as she listen to exam ex examine it. <laughs> nice words, Marco. This is nice. It's a pen light, but I modified it a bit to make the beam a little more attention to grabbing. Nosmi nods thoughtfully as her eyes glance over the device before she leans back on the couch. Okay, okay, so you'll be trying an eye fixing in induction, that's fine. I nod in return before clicking the pen light on and holding it so the beam shines just above her eye level. That's right, so Nosmi, I want you to focus your gauge on the light as I shine it across your eyes. Don't move your head, just sit back, relax, and watch when your eyes. Let me compl uh, compl uh, completely starts to sink in the couch and puts her hands back in her lap as she begins to watch the light while I pass it across her face. Now while I'm distracting her gaze with the light, I just need to speak as calmly and eventually as I can to hold her focus and induce her into a trance. I can do this. I hope you can't do this. That's right, not me. Just relax and focus on as the light passes back. And fourth, I wait a moment to catch her blinking, then continue. And as you watch the light, you may start to notice yourself blinking a little more often that your eye lights are becoming heavy and harder to keep open. Each time the light passes across your eyes, each time you try to catch a glimpse of the pattern you see in the light, you become a little more tired, a little more sleepy. It's alright to feel like this, not to me. It's perfectly natural to become tired while looking at the light. Well, relaxing more, feeling your eyes become heavier when every blink. That's why, not to me, just letting it happen. Feeling yourself become, become more and more sleepy, more and more relaxed. More and more safe. It's perfectly safe to feel this way around the light, not to me. 
perfectly safe and natural to let your eye light become heavy still as you look at the light. Soon it will be impossible to look at the light, not me, because you will be asleep. But that's okay. Keep looking into the light, not me, as much as you can, even as you continue to get sleepier. Getting sleepier. Sleep, not me. It worked. It's not like I've seen this before. It, it worked? She's really dropping at my suggestion? Can you still hear me, not me? Yes. He, her muted reply is music to my ears. I can hardly dare to believe it, but as far, but so far everything is going as perfectly as I imagined. But I need to keep a handle on the excitement bubbling up inside me. I gotta keep my cool and keep talking in this calm and authoritative manner I've got going on here. That's good, not me. It's very important that you hear and accept what I say. Even so, I think I can take a moment to marvel at what I've just done. Keeping Natsumi's phone camera pointing squarely at her peaceful looking face. As I stare at her, I have this nagging feeling that she's merely playing along with me, that she's going to jump up and call me an idiot at any moment. But no, she wants this too, doesn't she? I'm sure she's taking this completely seriously. So let's see if I can pass her suggestion and watch how she takes it. Do you know the number 4, Natsumi? Mm -hmm. Well, Natsumi, I want you to cons uh, consider the possibility that you do not in fact know the number 4. The concept of the number 4 is actually alien to your mind. As far as you're concerned, it doesn't exist. There's no number 4, Natsumi. You don't know the word for this number. Nor do you acknowledge its exist. What is wrong with me? I can't read. Existence in any way. Do you understand? I understand. Very good, Natsumi. I take a moment to ponder the implication of what I just told her. Even if she. Even if this takes. She'd remember the number again if she really needed to, right? But Natsumi did say to make sure she didn't walk out of her here thinking abnormally so I'd be so I'd better add something just to reassure her it won't last. However, Natsumi, as soon as you leave my home, you will once again remember everything you know about this number. Understood. Mm-hmm. Excellent. That's it, right? So then I should talk her back out of her trance now and see how that affected her. Let her stay hypnotized. Why well, can't she use that? I think I need to continue doing this. So, uh, wake, wake her. Now, not to me. I am going to count up slowly to five, and you will feel yourself gradually becoming more awake, becoming full, fully awake, and refreshed on five. Oh, five. <sighs> Man, I need to sleep. Jesus, it's like one a.m. But thank God, uh, today's Saturday. One, gently starting to rose yourself. Two, realizing that you were hypnotized. Three, loving that you were hypnotized. Four, feeling so very relaxed and refreshed. Five, uh, wide awake, that's me. She blinks bravely a few times as she stares in her seat, then lo looks at me in surprise. You actually did it. You actually did it work? I smirk as I wag her smartphone on her. We're not adapt. Let me see. Not so fast, I want to test something first. What? Remember, I said I was going to make you forget a number? You didn't though? You didn't... Oh, you didn't though, or you didn't talk. Oh. And what makes you so sure of that? Because I remember quite clearly. And how would you know if you actually forgot? I just... Prove it. Count to ten. Give me my phone back. I will as soon as you count to ten. Natsumi snows and irritatedly starts to complete one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Happy? Very. That's only nine numbers. <laughs> That's me looking a little less sure of herself. Pulls her hands in front of her and starts opening up her fingers and thumb 
times the C counts out out the uh, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wait, what am I missing? This means there's a gas at her right tongue, which she failed to open on the count of account of having run out of numbers to count with. But that's all the numbers, isn't there? From one to ten? I'm a little freaked out right now. <laughs> I choke and then place her phone in her open hand. Here, don't worry, I'm going to get a drink. You want anything? Let me takes the phone in her hands and opens the new video for playback, shaking her head. No, 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 I'm fine. I'll just take a look at this. Four? That's the number? <laughs> I choke as I said, I can kind of call it down on the table while the video continues to play before her eyes her building tournament is utterly adorable do you still see not know i'm still not totally sure you're not just acting or something i'll see key i'm trying to remember and i don't recall a single thing it's just not there it's only now that i'm seeing the evidence in my hands and it feels like i'm learning about it for for the first time where does it go anyway what Four. Does it come after three or five or six? You'll find out when you go home. I hope so. It's a little scary having this a gap in your common knowledge. I smiled at her. But it's a little exciting that I was able to do that to you though, right? Well, yes. I'm not afraid to admit it's also a little thrilling after wh what we talked about. We talked about. I just can't believe you managed to do it so well and on your first attempt. You look like some kind of hip hypnotist prodigy. <laughs> well, I did have some help. Not to me, eyes the pen light hold up in my hand. Oh right, you said something about that pen light of yours that you modified it somehow? Yeah, I didn't know how effective it was going to be, but I got I got to admit a panther that sure stimulate the imagination to help you f Fixate on it. That's right. You did say something about a pattern during the in the induction. Like I remember being distracted by it now and finding it harder to keep my eyes open as I focused on it while you talked. And to all of it, I think it felt really good to just let it happen. You know, every time I saw the light, and the pattern made that feeling stronger. I don't think I remember anything after my eyes closed, though. And if I figured out anything about what partner was supposed to be, I've completely forgotten now. <laughs> huh? That's really interesting. I need to see it again. Don't me then takes another glance at her phone for running. Oh, I need to go, it's getting late for me. Alright. I sigh so soon and it feels like we're just getting started. But this was fun though, wasn't it? Not to me freely let out a chunk and she nods, so she nods. It was everything I imagined it would be, and more. I want to do this again. Yeah, me too, not to me. We quickly exchange phone numbers, and she walks to the door and slips her shoes back on. Not to me, turns back to me with a full smile. We'll talk tomorrow, okay, you? As the door closed behind her, I feel the beaming smile on my own face. Everything is perfect. I can't believe how well that went. It comes after three, of course. It comes after three. Oh my god. <laughs> I spent the rest of the evening watching and reading more hypnosis material in between my homework assignments. Knowing for sure that non is into this stuff was a real shot in the arm. There's so much we can do to get closer to each other now. To say nothing of the fact she actually gets off on it, I can't believe she told me that. But man, it just makes me more excited thinking about her. Finally, after all this time, Nosumiya came and led me into her life. Now I never want to leave. Okay. Naturally, by the next day, I am still buzzing with excitement. When I reach the school gates, I hang out around a bit before going in, hoping to catch. There she is. No to me, hey. Oh god, she didn't acknowledge me? 
What's up with that? Uh oh. Okay, what is going on? Um, I think you did something wrong there. Uh, can you, your hypnotized thing, did something to her? So I don't know. I end the class feeling more than a little confused. I try to attract notes to me attempts to doing lessons, but every time I think I catch her guess she simply looks away and pretend to be focused on her work. Guess I'll have to wait until lunch with this ignite in my stomach. Well, so much for rooftop club. It's too windy out. At least all members are accounted for. It's me and her other friends hang around in the class as the lunch bell rings. <laughs> I never see her that face. She like pulls her tongue like that. That's actually pretty funny. Not being able to stand in, I get up from my seat and approach them. Uh, not to me. Jeez, you again? Before I can say more, not to me interjects with the cold look. Cute, didn't, didn't we talk about this other day? I'm not interested. The other, but, but not to me. For dog's sake, can you beat it? I hold my hands up and win job before that pink haired brat breaks me to What the dog is going on? Did I see this imagine yesterday? Okay, something is definitely off over here. Oh okay, um this this is a big plot twist. Maybe it is maybe this is gonna be a big plot twist. Oh my god, I I wasn't expecting this. Hold on. What what is going on? I Damn Damn I didn't expect this <laughs> Okay As I sit back down on my own desk and look how deeply I don't see not some group I know there's not some playing with her phone She could be looking at the video we made right now for all I know Like she just used to m my phone's dispersed it almost never does that I take it out of my pocket and find myself st st staring at the desk. We can talk. We can talk here. Meet me after school again. Huh? Well, at least I'm not going mad. Ah, oh, okay. Maybe she. Maybe. Maybe she doesn't want her friends to know that she likes to be hypnotized. So. I, I mean, that that that's just my opinion. I think. I think that's the. That's what she wants, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm still confused. And to be honest, a little upset about this. I'm texting her back. We can't even hang out, seriously? As I look back towards her, I see her chatting and smiling with the others. In between, Miss Nancy on Kachunol glances down on her phone. Mm. A few minutes later, my own phone buzzes again. We'll explain later, okay? Also, not right after school. I let out a little sigh. <sighs> I never thought I'd be irritated at not to me of all people, but what the hell? Alright, come to my place when you're ready. As soon as I said it, I wonder if that was maybe a bit too forward. The meeting seek come comes straight to me instead of meeting at the cafe again or something. Mm. But a few minutes later I get another text back. Okay. Ooh, that okay it's not good. <sighs> The rest of the day passes and I don't try to I don't try to talk to Nosmi again. But honestly I'm freaking out a bit. Why didn't she want to see me at school? Unfortunately I'm not kept al uh fortunately I'm not kept alone with my worries for very long as I hear the door doorbell downstairs. That must be her. I mean it it had also crossed my mind that she'd stand me up so at least I don't have to worry about that anymore. There she is. She has kind of big, um, big, 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 sad face. Yeah, big sad face. Hey, Q. That's me. Uh, thanks for coming. She nods at me and then sits herself down on the couch. So, we need to talk about today. Yeah, you completely blanked me, blanked me, and I. Don't mind telling you it made me feel like crap. <laughs> I get that, I, I, I do, but listen. I know not me holding her hands across her stomach while she anxiously clears her throat. As you know, I haven't told anyone, but 
but you about my hypnosis fixation. No one else is even remotely aware of it, and I'd like to keep it that way if you don't mind. However, being associated with you during school hours puts that in jeopardy, don't you think? What, really? Yes, you really. What reason do we have to see each other more than necessary? I was just the other day telling you to get lost. What do you suppose? What do you suppose people will think if we suddenly be became friend friendly towards each other? Ah, that makes more sense now. I was also kind of confused. <laughs> it's suspicious. My f my friends will stop asking questions and I'll have to tell them something. So tell them we made up and we're friends now. Is that we this is a big deal? No, I'm not a great liar, Kiyu. Maybe that's something you're good at, but I'm not. Again, ouch. But listen, this is about s setting, a f setting a few ground rules, okay? Ground rules? Yeah, I'll admit, I'm someone at fault for this. I wanted to chase my desires, and maybe I got a little selfish about it. We should have talked more yesterday before we got into this. So let me lay things out for you. If you don't agree, that's fine. We can stop this and we'll never speak of it again. Stop what are we doing and never speak of it again? No way is that an option. Alright, so what are you saying? Okay, so Natsumi presses her lips as she takes a moment to think, then holds up one finger in the air. Rule number one. We don't talk about any of this at school. We don't interact with each other unless it's a part of our school duties. Rule number two. You don't try to plan any suggestion in my head without my explicit permission. Explicit? Oh wait, explicit permission, I think. Explicit? No, explicit permission. I don't even know. Angus have like a lot of words, Jesus Christ. I mean, we sort of had that understanding yesterday, but I think we should make it official. If you try to do anything, you should. I'm calling this whole thing off. Okay, I get that. And rule number three. Let's keep all of our hypnosis-related activities to your place. Can we at least talk about it else elsewhere, like online or texting or something? Well, sure, so as long as you keep it to yourself and you don't get mad if I don't always respond. Also, uh, so what? Okay, so I suppose there's no easy way to approach this, but I know I need to say something. So, Q, I need you to know that I don't plan on dating anyone. What? Excuse me? Okay. Damn. Oh man, I just uh, reflex responded out of shock and it makes not to be jumping at her silly a little. But okay, really? You, you don't like ever? I mean, no, not ever. Just, just not in high school, okay? But why? Is this that I've got this long without dating and I've read most high school relationship failure anyway? Wait, what am I? What am I doing? I don't have to explain myself to you. Okay, sorry, not so many sides. It's fine, I just I just want three to be no misunderstandings between us. Uh, I just want there to be no misunderstanding between us three Marco Wow Wow three it's there. Because I realize doing these kinds of things could lead to the wrong impression and I don't want you to think I'm leading you on, okay? So yeah, we're just going to be two people doing something fun together. Does this what I'm asking sound reasonable to you? Does it make sense? Uh, well, I mean, I want to. I want to say not really, but I think that'd be a very bad idea. Because if it doesn't, that's completely fine. We can stop this. Like I ever want to give up this sense to be with us, not to me now that she's finally talking to me. But if you want to keep doing what we're doing, you need to respect the rules I'm setting here or we are all, we are done. So, just two people having fun, huh? Maybe I can leave with that. 
Maybe this is the fact that we can spend time together is enough. Still though, this thing she has about wanting all to be a secret. She is embarrassed about liking hip hypnosis, I guess. I can I can get that. But is she embarrassed about me as well? Is that the real problem? Is that why she told me she won't date anyone? If she doesn't even want to be seen with me. So what do you think? Then am I just going to be a dirty little secret? But if I want to keep doing this, you won't accept anything else than a oh god, what is that word? A quiescence, a qui a quiescence, a a quiescence to these the the men's offers. Pretty sure I spelled that wrong. Can you? There's no way I'm putting a stop to what we're doing. So I'll respect her boundaries lie about respecting her boundaries Ooh. <laughs> well i will let you guys decide this option so yeah i'm going to I need to end the video because i'm really tired i need to go to sleep uh, yeah um thank you guys for watching this video um <laughs> i really appreciate you guys uh, actually been watching my pen light videos f like for a while and i really appreciate that and uh yeah i'm i'm really surprised that the pen light content con content content is actually doing pretty great to my channel so i really really appreciate it again um yeah uh, see you guys in the next one bye bye